holiday weekend too. It, it really is. I mean, we do have a cold front heading our way, but uh, this time of the year, it's a it's a struggle to get any rain out of the cold front. So even though we're talking about this and maybe a little cooler, we're not talking right. about anything drastic. But uh, some nice looking weather as we go through the next couple days. It looks nice Ooh, out glass. there. Glass, it's like glass. Oh, isn't it? It's. I mean, it looks like you can almost feel like you could walk across that. Uh, it uh, be, beautiful looking view over the bay. Looking towards downtown, 84 degrees. You have just a few scattered clouds. Remember, a couple of days ago, there wasn't even a cloud in the sky. This just had a little hint, a little more moisture. You notice that. You step outside, and compared to a couple of days ago, where it really felt crisp outside, uh, not that it feels bad, but... Uh, you notice it feels a little more humid out there. So we started out lots of clear skies first thing this morning, but you get those fair weather cumulus clouds. The winds are coming a bit more out of an east and southeasterly direction. So that trend, it's going to continue over the next few days where we're bringing in a little bit more of that humidity. Eventually, it's going to lead to a couple of isolated showers here and there. And then we watch for that cold front to be working its way in our direction. There's that dry air pushing off to our east. That's what was over us a couple of days ago. So in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, you're bringing that moisture back in. And that's what will help to eventually lead to a couple of those showers. So 84 degrees right now here in Tampa. Uh, Clearwater down into St. Petersburg, 79 degrees. Sarasota, 83. Uh, Loda, in some cases, the mid-80s. Places like Sebring currently at 86 degrees. You head down across South Florida, same story, mid 80s, and then holding on to the 70s up across the northern part of the state. And the dew point numbers, a couple of days ago, these numbers were in the 30s and the 40s. We were talking about how nice it felt. Well, that's gone away. The numbers are back up into the 60s, in some cases, the 70s. And that's that humidity that's working its way back in. When you get these dew point numbers back up into the mid, upper 60s and 70s, that's where the atmosphere has that, that more sticky feel. So you look down to our south, you see a few showers down towards Miami, down towards the Keys. But other than that, it's really quiet across a good portion of the southeast from the Carolinas through Georgia, through Alabama. You're seeing just some scattered clouds. And then as you head further to the west, you've got that frontal boundary trying to work its way into the southeast. But right now it's bringing a lot of heavy rain across portions of Arkansas, back in the Texas. And then as you look up across the northeast they've had ice they've had snow just kind of a snowy day up across to parts of maine but there's that heavy rain working its way through dallas down towards waco and then stretching over towards arkansas now as this front continues to work its way to the southeast a lot of the moisture with this is not going to push down in our direction so our rain chances they're going to continue to be kind of hit and miss as this front works its way towards us. What we're really looking at is just an increase in that humidity and the moisture over us that will kind of spawn a few of those uh, random showers as we go through the weekend. You get that low sliding to our north. Now, as the front pushes through, we get a couple of showers with that, and that will be enough to ever so slightly cool things down as we get into next week. But it doesn't last because as you look at that 8 to 14 day temperature outlook, we're looking at uh, the probability of above normal temperatures heading all the way towards Thanksgiving. Scattered clouds, warm afternoon, daytime high, 85 degrees. Then for tonight, look for some possibility of some fog around. Overnight low down to 70. Then for tomorrow, partly cloudy, a hit, hit or humid, and a daytime high at 85 degrees. On the water, winds are out of the southeast at 5 to 10 knots. Seas one foot or less, light chop on the bays and inland waters. And uh, high tide comes up at 1127 this evening. Here's your seven day forecast. Daytime highs in the mid 80s and that rain chance sitting between about 10 to 20% with that front working its way through, Linda. Very good.